warning. Listening to this show may result in increased levels of inspiration, motivation, and innovation. Side effects can include the immediate urge to take massive action to build a better business and life for yourself and others. You've been warned. Welcome to Influencers Radio with your host, Jack Mize. And welcome back to another Influencers Radio episode. And today, you know, I was really excited to today to 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 talk to my guests as I start digging into it because I'm thinking that I'm going to learn some inside stuff. And inside stuff about what? Well, you know what? If whether you're a man, whether you're a woman, you probably always thought, you know, you go to the bookstore and you see these you know, Spanish to English dictionaries or French to, to English dictionaries. I've always thought, you know, if there could be a, a woman to English dictionary to, to understand, and I'm sure women feel the same way. And I'm thinking today I'm going to get inside the mind. But then as I start thinking, no, I'm going to be, I'm going to be the person that's being figured out here. And I thought, well, you know what? That's okay. Because this is, whether you're a man, whether you're a woman, this is going to be some really fascinating stuff because my guest today is Carrie Newell. She is the founder of Communication Magic with Men. I'm going to let that hang in the air for a minute because I'm sure everybody has uh, can start formulating, what could this be of a communication magic with men? This is going to be good. And you're absolutely right. This is going to be good because it's probably one of the mysteries that of life that so many people go through their whole life um, not to getting the the uh, the key or the the, the what, what do you call it the 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 descrambler decipher of what's going on in the minds of uh, whether it's a spouse whether it's a a child whether it's a father any person in your life that um, if you're a woman to understand men. Carrie, welcome to Influencers Radio. Thank you so much for having me. Well, I got to say, communication magic with men. That right there, when you think about that, <laughs> one, at some points I think, well, is it that hard? Men probably aren't as complicated as, or at least men think they're not as complicated as uh, women make them out to be, but you probably know uh, uh, differently. So I want to find out what exactly is communication magic with men? You know, we help women understand what they do that is upsetting to men. It's either degrading or insulting, and it really pushes men away, and it causes them to do the things that we love so much less and less and less, like cherish and adore us and spend time with us and romance us. And we don't even know we're doing these things. So it's an understanding of the male mind and what goes on in his brain. You know, we're so different, right? And who gave you the key to this information? That's what I want to know. Yeah, how do you you, you get inside my brain and know that? Well, one thing, just what you said. (laughs) I'm in. That's, that's, that sounds like something great to, to sign up for, but it's, it's not available, which I, uh, uh, to me, which I, we'll, we'll talk about. But, but what got you access to this information to be able to get this de- deciphered for women? You know, when my mother was pregnant with me, she was teaching a class to women called On Being a Woman. And she continued her quest. Um, to find out why things start off so great and end so challenging or sometimes painfully in relationships. And we founded this business over 14 years ago together. Um, She went back to school. She got her doctorate in psychology, and we made a great team. And through lots of research and interviewing and of men and women and working with singles and couples, we developed you know, a system and we really got to the crux of what, what's the challenge? What happens? And, and, you know, a lot of people think, you know, by by default, they think about this as, as far as spouses, you know, uh, romantic relationships, that kind of thing. And and I know you do more than that, but I I think there's such a spotlight that uh, a spotlight on that. 
um, in what we see on TV. I mean, it, it's it's almost like there's there's drive through marriages, disposable marriages. When you see the the Real Housewives of this, and and you know, and it seems like it's it, it, it's relationships are something that well, if it starts going a little sideways. It's 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 time to move on, even though there's some there could be some really powerful uh, things there and those relationships that people seem to not, you know, work for. But but, you know, you you realize that there are reasons to work for this and the the problems that you have are something that's going to crop up again and again and again, I guess, in your life. If you keep ignoring the the simple things that 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 you can do to kind of reframe what these the, the the problem is one of the things that I know we talked about is changing from an adversarial position. It's not you against them or you know the men against women. Um, it's really about getting the alignment right so so that it works much more smoothly. You know, you said so much that was so right on. And yes, it seems that our relationships have become disposable and there's less marriages and more cohabitating. And yet the divorce rate is still as high as it's been for many years and and too high. Um, It's my belief and it's been my um, experience that if there was something there in the beginning that was good, a good foundation, you can always get it back. You can get the romance back. You can learn the communication. You can understand how to have those challenging conversations that don't have to end up in an argument or don't have to end up unresolved. And you can, you know, when we have challenges in our relationships, especially the romantic ones, it affects our every day. You know, it's an important piece for us. And it's one of the differences between men and women. Men can, you know, put things aside and be single focused and they can go to work and they might be upset about something, but they can still usually perform. Whereas women, we, it, it just affects everything we do. It's on our mind all the time. You know, I think so, that right there is, is probably one of the keys to, to kind of your success with this. Because I know as a man, I, you know, I guess I think about it as clearing the calculator. You know, if there's a problem or an issue, but I have to go deal with something else, I can clear that calculator and work on this other problem where it seems maybe perhaps – um, you know, women in your life, they don't clear the calculator. It kind of all goes into this one big box and, and, and gets, you know, inner, intermingled and a problem over here all of a sudden kind of seeps into become a problem over there. Do you find that is something that that's common? It's not something that just maybe I notice, but it's something common just among the, the, the sexes, men and women, that, that that's kind of the way that they deal with things. It's very common. It's one of our biggest differences is our brain and the way it's made up and not to get too technical, but the corpus callosum, which connects the left and right lobes of the brain are different in a man's brain and a woman's brain. And one of the things that it causes, there's a lot of things that it makes, how it makes us different is that men are either in their thinking or their feeling lobe where women, we have access to our entire brain all the time. So our emotions are always intermingled with our decision-making and our thoughts and what's going on. So we believe that our realities are the same. You know, we believe that (laughs) for a simple example, when I don't feel well, I want my man to check in on me and bring me soup. And, you know, like I kind of like that and that's my reality. And when he's not feeling well, he kind of likes to be left alone. And so I'm always giving him what I would want and he gives me what he would want. (laughs) And, you know, that's just one simp- really simple thing. Now, you know? when you, when yes, you, we are very emotional as women, much you, more so than men. When you say things like that, it makes me immediately think, yes, Carrie understands. <laughs> Carrie understands. How can I work with Carrie to, to, to figure this out and, and explain this? But the one thing that I, I want to talk about is you don't necessarily work directly with men on these, even though you have a great insight as to, to kind of what we're thinking and the way that we tick, you, um, you, you work with women to, to help them, I guess, recognize this. They, you, you, you're, you're cheating. You're giving them the, the key. You're giving them the roadmap to understand <laughs> what's going on. Yep. You can look at it a little bit like that, a little bit of cheating. We years ago taught a class to men called Um, how to shorten the time a woman's upset. And we would fill that. What we discovered is 
that when a woman changes the way she communicates with a man, the man changes the way he responds. Women are always saying, why can't you tell him there's a golf retreat, you know, on an island somewhere and ship him off and teach them what they need to know, you know, how we want to be spoken to, how we want to be treated. And while that may be nice, men, when a man changes, it doesn't change the dynamic of the relationship like when a woman learns this language, the male language. And so when a woman learns that male language, is that something that's perceptible to a man? Do they all of a sudden think that, hey, wait a minute, what's going on here? What kind of games are being played? This isn't the way it this isn't the way it normally <laughs> turns out, right? It's I mean, it sounds to me because think about it. men are pretty simple minded, you know, when it comes to yes. some things, right? It's almost like you're giving us a, a you're giving us a treat, you know, that you, you learn how to, to, to you know, you, you give them a treat and and it changes the way that that they they think about things. What are some of the the, the, the results that you get when a woman? you know, tries that. And I know from, you know, some of your case studies and the people that, that just give you spectacular re- reviews and testimonials, it sounds like some of that they go in and maybe there's a little bit skeptical on how this can work, but they apply it and they see these changes. And I guess that's probably where the magic the, it comes in, the, the, the word communication magic. Talk a little bit about that transformation when people go in and, and actually tr- apply this and how, you know, remarkable it is when it works and kind of their thoughts when they come back and say, I did this and, and wow, this, this happened. Well, when we started our business 14 years ago, we taught women in my mom's home over a 10 week period once a week. So we really got to see what was going on week by week. And then we asked them for testimonials (laughs) and everybody in their testimonials, all of the women were saying it was instant. It was immediate when I shifted and changed the way I usually would say something, they responded immediately differently. You know, they, it's, it's unrecognizable and it's not meant to be a manipulation. It's the way women are supposed to communicate But in our society. We really have an overdeveloped masculinity. So we've saved marriages that were on the brink of divorce. We've, you know, spiced things up and gotten romance back to relationships that maybe have been a little humdrum. And single women that were craving to have a man in their life get married. You know, I, I think it's important to point out and, and not overlook. You said, you know, it's not manipulation, right? Because I, 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 I don't want people to think that this is some kind of, you know, hypnosis where you come up with that, <laughs> right. that, that word that, you know, sleep, you know, and do, do what I want. It's, it, it's almost like, um, to me, the uh, kind of like that, the reality show, The Dog Whisper. It's almost like you're a man whisperer. You know, uh-huh. you know and, and, right. it's, and it's not like you're manipulating or getting them to do things they don't want to do. It's, it's you're showing them how to communicate with the men in their lives in order to facilitate a much easier um, relationship or, or, or resolve things much easier. And, now, you know, frankly, that's the show I'd watch if they had came up with the man whisper and, and, and you were the star. I think that right there would be a, uh-huh. would be a hit. I love it. (laughs) You know, it's, it's fascinating because for the men that are listening, we teach women how to respect, admire, and appreciate you. You don't get it nearly enough. And for the women, when you learn to do this, a man is compelled to cherish, adore, protect, provide for you. It's beautiful. And, and so that, that's like the romanticized version of what people think, you know, that this is the way it is. And oftentimes it, it, it changes. And just like, uh, when someone watches the dog whisper, I'm sure the same thing happens with, with, with you is they come and say, you know, I know you do great things. I've seen you do great things, but my man's different. My situation's yeah. <laughs> unique. Will this work for me? And and so talk about the, those situations where people may feel that their situation is unique, but it's probably not as unique as they thought it was. You know, that's a great, great question because the principles that we teach, it doesn't matter ethnicity, how you were raised. You know, these are male-female differences, very specific hormonal brain differences, things like that. And it works with most men and most women. You know, there's always something that may be a little different or a little off. But we've never had 
a woman say, you know, I tried these principles and they just don't work and my relationship is worse. <laughs> it's always worked for the better. So what and, you're saying is at the core, we're not all that much different, you know, that the, we may do a, a, a few things, look a little different, you know, act a little different. But w- when you understand the principles, they, they can right. be applied in in it's not as unique as, as folks Because I, I know that that's the first thing everybody thinks that their situation is unique or, well, he's a little bit different. Is that because is that because men try to convince women, Oh, I'm different than all the rest of the guys. <laughs> and we as women want to be different too. You know, we want to be looked at as irreplaceable, you know, this kind of goddess in their lives that they wouldn't want to go anywhere else. Right. We yeah. teach women some valuable tools that, keep men from wanting to go elsewhere, you know, to keep men just really happily in love with who they're with. And, and that right there is huge value. Well, Well, one doesn't want that. (laughs) Well, I think that's, that's, that's where people think, well, how can, is, is it that easy? You know, is, and I think one of the misconceptions that folks have is that you're, you're teaching women how to give these uh, you know, how to train a man, you know, like we, we'd say in the, in the dog whisper. But really one of the things that, that I was kind of surprised is that you help women, you know, understand that there's things that, that maybe they do that, um, that, that maybe upset, maybe not visibly or, you know, in a, in a big way, uh, upset men or maybe feel that, that, you know, they're being disrespectful without even realizing that uh, they're doing this. Can, can you give some ex- examples of kind of how this transformation happens and, and, and maybe some, some situations that, you know, this little change has made such a dramatic difference? Well, yes, we have, um, shared the seven mistakes that women make when communicating with men. And we've had men in the room when we've taught this and they say, you know, thank you. Those are great. I think there's more than seven. (laughs) (laughs) Um, And there are things that we don't know we're doing. So to give you an example, um, we often interrupt, you know, we're very fast. Our brains work very quickly because of our corpus callosum and we have access to our entire brain. And we're also multitaskers, most of us, and very impatient. So we ask you what, how you feel about something and you need to go through your left lobe thinking where a man spends most of his time and see your right lobe feeling to think about how you're feeling about it. Go back into your left lobe thinking to express your feeling. And by then we've already cut you off, gotten upset and irritated because you're not sharing your feelings with us. And that happens even in, you know, you might pause in a conversation and, and we'll butt right in and continue on thinking you're done. And you're not, you've just paused. (laughs) So we interrupt. That's one of the things we do. We don't even know we're doing it. And so something like that, you you think, you know, probably women, when you say they don't realize they're doing it, is there something that you do to to help them recognize that and kind of kind of uh, pay attention with some purpose on, on on what they're doing that that make because I, I can see how you know something like that it can can work just by by recognizing kind of what you're doing and and how it's uh, uh and the reaction that it's it's creating. Well, oftentimes we as women end up being in this mom role with the men in our lives. And we, we're, we have an acronym, don't start in on him. Don't suggest, teach, advise, remind, or train. It's not something you would do as a lover in a man's life or to any man, really. They're men. They're capable. Don't, don't do those things. And when you do those things and you put yourself in the position of being his mom, there's less romance. There's less, you know, he's going to treat you like he treated his mom when he was growing up. You know, he may become passive aggressive or, you know, like I said, the romance dwindles and it's, it's really damaging to our relationship. You know, women sometimes joke, oh, I have two kids. Well, I really have three. It's like, (laughs) you know, that's devastating for a man to hear or for her to feel that way. It's got to come out in a lot of different ways, even if he doesn't hear that. You know, now that you say that, you know, it's almost like I can recognize the relationships de-evolutionizing in that manner where you even hear you know, married couple. I've been married now for 17 years. I hope I got that number right. I'll be in trouble. Congratulations. <laughs> yes, you and, will. <laughs> and, yeah. And, and you see it, 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 it I, you know, I learned the secret of never forgetting a, a, a anniversary. You know what that is? What is that? Forget one. <laughs> 
right. It'll never happen that, that's again. A, that's right. right. <laughs> Maybe that's part of the training. I don't know. Uh, but, uh, but, 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 but you do see that where it's almost like where they even refer to each other as, as a mother and dad or, or, you know, something like that. And, and you see almost that, 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 um, relationship evolving from from spouse or, or or couple to that to to a a mother like so is that a dangerous path when you recognize i mean how many women and i don't know if it's common for you know over so many years but is there something that that a, a woman could step back right now and think about and say oops i i see that happening you know we watch light bulbs go off and that has the women all the time you know at our live events or you know when we work with them one-on-one and you know, these are things that just come so naturally to us, the things we do that we don't even know we're doing. And it's not even always that evident that the men are upset about it. You know, sometimes they just quietly go away. They may not even know they're so affected. But I watch relationships erode over a period of time as things build up. You know, it may not be a huge blowout argument and you'd say, oops, I stepped on that landmine. What do I do to not do that again? But Slowly but surely, you know, your husband works longer hours and spends less time with you and watches more TV and football and whatever. And, you know, I watch these relationships be two ships passing in the night or be somewhat of a friendship and a relationship of convenience. And one or both of them are not really that happy. Yeah, so, and it's probably so know, much more common than, than people even imagine. I mean, I mean, your your insight to this is remarkable. In, in the fact that I know that you're speaking to probably 90% of the people out there uh, to some level, not, not, not that everyone is in the situation, but, but there's a, a, a misstep in communication or there's wires that have crossed and maybe you've lived with them for this long. Maybe they're just now, you know, coming uh, to be, you know, a problem or maybe there's, you see it on the horizon, but this is something that affects that just about any person that's in a relationship with with uh, uh, with with a, a man or you know a man that's in a relationship with a woman, there's you got to be some of this to to a certain degree in just about every relationship. Absolutely, absolutely, and you know I don't think that women recognize. You know we're, we're busy. You know I noticed this a lot in entrepreneurs, and I've really started focusing on women entrepreneurs because you know they don't have hours; they have unique challenges and. You know, the divorce rate seems to be very high in relationships with women entrepreneurs. Um, you know, if you have kids, if you're starting up a business, if, you, you know, juggling all the things. And when the kids are out of the house, what are you left with if you do make it to that point? Yeah, well, you know what? I, I think the numbers speak for themselves. You've been doing this for how long? How long have you been working with folks on this? It's been in my 14th year, four to 14 years. And, and, and yeah. I know from, you know, from witnessing and seeing the results and seeing it come straight from the mouths of, of the people you've helped, or you've helped probably hundreds of relationships, but with, with recognizing this. And, and like I say, your insight is remarkable on, on this. How can folks find out more about this uh, communication magic with men. And I also want to stress that even though you may not work directly with men, you certainly have men that, that let their, their, their wives or significant others know that, Hey, there may be something to this. How can they find out more about that? Um, thank you for asking. Going to my website, communication magic with com. And, you know, if you opt in and you want to receive, we have some free gifts there. And one of them is the seven mistakes that women make. Um, we also have an audio with uh, my mother, Dr. Sherry Zander, and I um, talking about some really important things for women. So um, that's the best way to get involved. And you would be receiving our newsletter, which doesn't go out as often as I would like. But um, typically every two to three weeks, we try to get something out to you. Yeah, well, I mean, it's really impactful stuff, and 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 that's why, you know, you're certainly uh, um, an influencer, and I'm, I'm I'm glad you came on to to share this stuff because it really does affect, not, you know, not just directly the you know couples, but and we didn't get to go into it uh, deeply, but it's not just about romantic relationships, right? I mean, you you probably have folks that have have applied this to their 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 children, their siblings, their their fathers. Um, yes. 
And there's ways that, that you that can works. apply it to the waiter. <laughs> Every man in your life, your clients, um, your boss, your coworkers, learning this language opens up a whole new world of understanding men and how men really just want to make us happy and what we do to get in the way of that. See, that's what scares me. <laughs> do it to be able to do that. By the way, where where can I send you a new car? I was uh, I don't know why I have the urge to do that, but um, <laughs> I'm but, in Woodland Hills, California. Yeah. <laughs> but it really is. But, but, but I mean, that's uh, I, you know, magic. It's 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 that 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 kind of you know the, the marketing word. But I think that's just such an appropriate uh, term for this when when you see the results of of, of um, um, how this works. So. Uh, you know, again, I, I, I want to thank you for, for coming on Influencers Radio Day and sharing this. And, um, you know, what a tremendous difference you've made in so many people's lives. Well, oh, thank you so much. It's been a huge passion for my background. And I just love sharing this with women because it's, it's a life changing experience. Oh yeah, it certainly is, and and just the fact that how many people it it really does uh, affect, and maybe some of them don't even um, realize that. So, folks, communication magic with men, whether you're a man, whether you're a woman, definitely check this out because I would probably guarantee that that, that it affects your lives at some level. So. Um, uh, again, Carrie, thanks for coming on to uh, Influencers Radio today, and uh, I look forward to, uh, to to seeing what you're up to and some of the things that uh, um, you 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 put out there and and how this evolves because it really is a, a, a tremendous uh, a gift to a lot of folks that that want relationships to to work and aren't in it for those uh, drive by uh, drive by marriages. So I, I thank you for, mm-hmm. for doing that. Thank you. It was a pleasure. And thank you so much for having me. All right, folks, there you have it. Uh, Definitely check it out. Communication magic with men. And until next time on influencers radio, remember you are the only real game changer. You've been listening to influencers radio to get all past shows and updates on future shows. Visit influencersradio.com today or follow us on Facebook at facebook.com slash influencers radio. 